Hey guys, it's Kevin here. Today I'm going to take you through my arm workout. Uh, here's a list of the exercises that I'm going to be doing. So here's the first exercise. These are tricep pushdowns. Uh, I'm using the triangular bar, I think it's called. And as you see, I'm doing the entire stack. Um, the triceps are definitely the strongest part of my body. And uh, I did three sets of this. Keep in mind, those are three working sets. Uh, I did some warm-up sets to build up to it too. Um, right here I'm just shaking all the lactic acid out before um, starting the next set. Um, I keep the time in between sets really low, especially for this workout. Anywhere from like 15 to 45 seconds. Uh, the whole point of this, I'm, I'm pre-exhausting my arms. Um, so I'm trying to make it as intense as possible. And uh, as I do my last set here, I want to point out, you know, I've been criticized a lot for having bad forms in my other videos. They honestly look pretty good here, so, you know, if you want to check out my other forearm videos, I'll have a link in the description. Um, they ha definitely have been working for me. So the next exercise, I'm switching to biceps. This is kind of like a warm-up, um, basically doing chin-ups till failure. Um, I'm doing a supinated grip because I want it. This is a bicep workout, not a back workout. Um, you know, sorry the camera angle is not that good here, but uh, my chin is going over the bar. I know you can't see it, you're just going to have to trust me on that one. I think I only did 19 or 20 here. I usually go up to like 25. I wasn't really having a good day for pull ups, but you know, that happens. Right here, I put on a 25 pound plate and I changed the camera angle, and now you can't see my legs, but you can see the bar. And this was really feeling heavy, um, but I decided to go up, even though I couldn't get my chin over the bar. So right here, I put on a 45-pound weight, and this is just way too heavy. So uh, you know, I just moved on to the next exercise. So right here, I'm doing preacher curls on a machine. I do a lot of sets for this exercise. I did six sets, I think. Um, you know, I'm just trying to burn out the biceps on this workout, so. I'm constantly changing the weight, barely any rest time in between as you saw there. I just changed the weight and just kept going. I found that this exercise works mostly the inner part of the bicep, which is the short head, which is something that I need to improve. Um, you know, the outer head of my bicep looks pretty good. That's what it looks like from the side pretty much. But uh, I feel like I'm lacking a little bit of thickness on the inside, so I'm focusing a lot more on uh, these kind of movements to really isolate the biceps as a whole, but mostly for the inner part of the bicep. As you just saw right there, I pretty much went to failure and then kept going, even though they were half reps, you know, even though the form might get a little shitty, you're still burning those muscle fibers. So. Here's the uh, next set. As you see, I'm constantly changing the weight again. Um, this is I'll remind you guys, this is a really high intensity workout. You know, there, you're not going to have that much rest time in between. Um, the total amount of time you'll spend at the gym doing this, uh, my arm workout, probably only like an hour, you know. Um, you got to keep your rest times really short. And uh, I've experimented with a lot of different ways of training the arms. You know, that's not a genetic strong point for me, like my chest or my abs are. So I really need to beat the shit out of them to make them grow. So, you know, I've experimented with a lot of different ways to train them and this is definitely the best way, you know. I've, uh, I've seen my muscles grow a lot training with a uh, short time between sets. So here's the next exercise. These are skull crushers. Uh, the kind of bar I'm using, it's actually called a tricep bar. So it's perfect for skull crushers. It really helps to keep your elbows uh, tucked in so that you're working all three heads of the tricep when you go down and when you go up. Um, when I go down, I try and stretch my triceps as much as possible and then bring them back up. That's the most optimal way to build muscle. This is actually the only other tricep exercise that I do throughout this entire workout other than the, uh, the tricep pushdowns that I did at the beginning. Uh, reason is, you know, all three heads of the tricep are getting stimulated through both of these exercises. And to be honest, I know I said my arms aren't very genetically gifted, 
but that's more targeted towards my biceps. My biceps don't really grow that well. I don't have good uh, bicep insertions, but my triceps actually do grow very well. So I don't really need to do as much volume for the triceps as I do for the biceps. So the next exercise is uh, hammer curls. I'm using the, the tricep bar again here. I find that this grip is the best for stimulating the brachialis muscles. Um, personally, this isn't my favorite uh, brac exercise. Um, I like to use cables for those, but uh, those are being used up. So. so this is the last exercise right here. These are incline dumbbell curls. I'm going really light on here, doing very high repetition, um, low rest between sets, and I'm keeping very strict form. Uh, the whole concept of this is to burn out the muscle for the end of the workout. So that about wraps it up for this video. I have a few other uh, arm workouts that I have. I'll post them again uh, soon enough. Please visit my blog at rippedandjack.com, and I'll uh, see you in the next video. Thanks.